Hello and welcome back to Two Girls and One Crime. Not cop. My name is Vita. I'm Jackie. And we are going to tell you another tale about a Florida man. Another one? Yep. Because there's so many out there. <laughs> Have you ever done the game where you like Google your birth date? Florida man? No, but we should do that. Yeah, we'll do that. We should do that we next do that. time. On this fun episode, um, I chose the Florida man story. Mm-hmm. Jackie Dallas? Yes. You want to ask me what the Florida man did? So what did this Florida man do? This Florida man, 18, accidentally shot a woman twerking at a possible house party, police say. For twerking? I don't know. She just happened to be twerking. She was twerking. She happened to be twerking. And he shot her <laughs> at Which a party. Is, is like, you know, you go up to a guy and you're like, can I dance on you? And he's like, yeah, baby. And then you like start... You know, like popping the booty super hard into him, and then his gun fires <laughs> into oh. your ass. So it was an accident. Yeah, accidentally shoots woman mm. twerking. Not like he was rejected and got mad. Yeah, he's like, bitch. <laughs> no. no, I think she was dancing on him, and he had a gun in his waistband. That sucks. There he is. <laughs> his booking image is like he's like, oops. <laughs> In Cocoa, Florida, an 18-year-old man was arrested Tuesday after police said he accidentally shot a woman, also 18, dancing with him at a possible Cocoa house party nearly a month ago. This was a month after the shooting happened is when it got reported. Mm. Did she, like, change her mind? She was like, ow! Maybe when the article was written, it was a month ago. An arrest warrant affidavit affidavit shows officers responded to a shots fired call at 1044 Azalea Lane around 1025 p.m. on November 27th. So November 27th of 2022. Upon arrival, police said they found a woman who had been shot and transported to the hospital. Multiple witnesses told police that the victim had been twerking near 18 year old that's not how people twerk okay jackie i don't know what kind of florida dance parties you went to they weren't in coco do you want to demonstrate for us i will gladly whenever i twerk i think of miley cyrus Uh, and i think she created um she created a place for white girls to twerk and for it not to be funny but to be sexy i see yeah hold this you guys ready for this you guys ready (laughs) Can you even see my butt? <laughs> Thank you, Miley. Can you, you do dancing it, can now. Can you do it upside down? You know, Absolutely. have you seen those videos where yes, they're I like, can, but there's a painting. <laughs> there's a video of me in Hawaii doing it upside down in a bathing suit. My mother was like, Vita, what is this video? And I was like, so, Mom. So I think we got some Patreon footage. Guys. I was high on mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you guys didn't expect to see me twerking. <laughs> I totally did. <laughs> All right, so twerking. Now we all know what twerking is. Um, So she had been twerking near 18-year-old Maurice Thomas when a firearm in his possession discharged and fired around, striking her in the back, according to the affidavit. Another witness said the gun accidentally just went off. Officers said they discovered that multiple people, both juveniles and adults, had been given alcohol by the owner of the house, who was possibly hosting a party at the time. I I love how it's like... Possibly. Allegedly. Alleged Bobby. Accidentally. What were 18-year-olds drinking alcohol and twerking doing at a house? Was it a party? It's just mm. a random Tuesday night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were doing yeah. book club. <laughs> Bible study. Bible study. <laughs> Cell phone footage of that night shows a juvenile handling a firearm in a reckless manner around children as young as four years old. What? Underage teens with alcohol and the suspect who was wearing a black hoodie with a Glock logo. Okay, if there were children there, this is like, okay, this is like the house party, the people that own the house had kids and they were just like, go to bed and then the kids were like, nah, I'm good. Four? That really changes the dynamic of this crime. Yeah, this house party sounds very sketchy. Yeah, it goes from being like a stupid crime that like, oh, let's make fun of them to that's really just like recklessly endangering reckless, careless it's reminding me of like 
dangerous neighborhoods where people are in like gang affiliated and young children are um like they just grow up in it yeah they grow up in it and they're introduced to like a like a more gang and uh um, criminal life mm-hmm. so then when they go to school they don't apply themselves because they're like I'm just going to be in a gang anyways that's the vibes I'm getting it possible. sounds like I don't know anything it's about possible yeah possible possibly I don't know anything about Coco, Florida <laughs> but this sounds very sketch is it rural? rural <laughs> <laughs> police said they spoke with the victim on December 7th after she was released from the hospital following her multiple Most. surgeries. She told them Thomas and another person had been playing around with the firearm when she told them to stop, according to the affidavit. Moments later, while twerking, I love that that word is used <laughs> as many times as necessary, while twerking with Thomas, she felt the firearm and attempted to move out of the way before the round struck her, officers said. So I think my assumption that it was in his waistband could be correct. An affidavit shows Thomas, who she said she knew since October, also sent her a message via Instagram two days after the shooting saying, I am truly sorry. That sh- was never intended to happen, especially to you. If there's any way I can get a second chance and talk to you on the phone, can you please LMK and send your number? LMK means let me know. Oh, Thomas, you kind of screwed the pooch on that one. Thomas has no game. As a result of the shooting, Thomas is facing charges for aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, (laughs) culpable negligence inflicting harm, improper use of a firearm, and tampering in misdemeanor proceedings. Improper use of a firearm. He is currently held in the Brevard County Jail on an $89,000 bond. Wow. (laughs) That's not how you're supposed to use a firearm. Also, he could have shot himself in the dick. He could have. He should have. Instead of shooting, Instead of shooting a woman, his penis, because then maybe Just he couldn't procreate and more stupid people couldn't be made, you know? So dumb. And she probably can't procreate because he probably shot through her body and now her ovaries are fucked. I mean, who knows? I mean, who knows? But I'm just... Multiple surgeries, though. That means it wasn't just like a little graze. Multiple surgeries? Yeah, no, it means that there was internal issues because your skin doesn't get surgery. No. Your organs get the surgeries. Yeah. You're like, well, you're the doctor. (laughs) Yeah, thank you for um, mansplaining that to me. Medsplaining. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I'm mansplaining you. Also, it just, it just fucked up my hair royally. Wow. Well, I, it's never a dull moment in Florida, I'll tell you that. When you were living there, did you yeah. ever encounter real Florida mans? Are you think, friends with any Florida mans? Uh, in hindsight, yeah, I think I did. Kind of hindsight. Also, like, I um, I don't really keep in touch a whole lot. But I do, like, follow, have friends on Facebook, right, that we, like, grew up together. Some of them are very interesting people now. I won't call a lot of them out, but some of them are very interesting people. Jackie. Yeah. Would you ever go to a party where people were twerking and showing off their firearms? Um, was twerking a thing when I was still living in Florida? Today. I feel like. Would you go today? (laughs) Currently, as of last month. I don't think I would, but I don't know. Am I hanging out with you? I would fucking <laughs> never go to a party like that, okay? But what if you didn't know? What if you just showed up? I would get the fuck out of there right away. I'd be <laughs> like, they have guns. These people are twerking with guns in their waistbands. Bye. I know what happened in Florida, okay? I never. To be clear, it's not the twerking. It's the gun part, right? Yeah, it's the gun part. Yeah, if you saw the twerking, you'd be like, I'm cool with this. I've been places and twerked. You just did. I just twerked for you guys. <laughs> I've twerked on people. When I was, um, the first time I went to New York City, like with one of my friends mm-hmm. um, that lived in Brooklyn, she was, she's a Jamaican girl. She was like, want to go to my favorite Jamaican club? And I was like, okay. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> my legs almost fell off. Like, <laughs> I was trying to keep up with the twerking and the dancing and the everything. And I was just like, I don't work out enough for this. You know, The dancing is definitely different. Yeah. It's just really, um, it's like really intense, like cardio dancing. It is. Lots it of is. legs. It lots is. of Lots of leg squatting, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. bending over, getting back mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, someone's pushing against you. You're pushing against them. It's mm-hmm. like your thighs mm-hmm. are just like <laughs> b- bursting. 
Yeah, it was hard. And now that I think about it, I, I, I wonder if what mm. I felt in their pants was a Glock or, or them. Because <laughs> it was always hard, you know? Just saying. <laughs> I just thought it was me. I was like, oh, I'm so hot. <laughs> I'm so good at dancing. They're so into it. Ooh. But you didn't get shot, so that's I good. didn't, so it was probably just them. them. Or the gun just didn't misfire. I wonder how often that happens. Like a misfired gun from twerking. Well, you should have the setting like off, right? Like a, a responsible firearm owner. Have the safety off? Have the, that thing. Not all guns have safeties, though. Well, that's stupid. That's true. You should only carry a gun casually that has a safety, in my opinion. Right? Meh. Not all guns do. Okay. Well, not all guns are equal. See, we have to go to a shooting range. We talked about this. I don't want to do it. What would you make me? I feel like everyone should know what a gun looks like and feels like. Defense. Not saying you should own a gun. Not saying you should carry one. Just saying, like, if there was a situation that happened, because in our world today, it does, then you don't freak out by the gun just being a gun. You freak out by the situation. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, sure. But I, like, strongly never want a gun. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. I don't want a gun. Yeah. But I, I also just gun. don't want to, like, I just, I don't know. I just never want to be in a situation where a gun is in front of me and then I have to, like, figure out how to use it to protect myself. Like, I just, call me naive, but I just never want to be in that scenario. That's naive. And, um, hopefully if I am, you're with me. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Wait, where do we live? <laughs> L.A. America. <laughs> well, we're not in school anymore, so that eliminates like half of it. When we don't work in a bank. Mm. And is that a thing still? How, do, how often do we go to a movie theater? And we, it's what else? It's depressing now. What? I was just thinking of all the places people take guns. Shopping malls. Shopping malls. Restaurants. I shop online. It's safer. <laughs> we don't go to temple or to church. Or um, where they target groups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my strategy. I just stay away. Well, anyways, guys, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos. We're also on Facebook, TikTok, uh, Twitter. Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> we have a Patreon. That's where we show our titties. Uh, that's where she shows her twerking. <laughs> Nobody shows their boobs. Our boobs are really not that great. So, like, why would we show them? My like, boobs are fantastic. Where are my boobs? <laughs> where are they? <laughs> Hello? All I see are little, egg, like, little nuggets. Little thing, like, tadpoles. I don't know what I'm saying. Thank you for tuning in to another Florida Man case with two girls and one crime. See you next week. See you next time. It was so easy because you said see you next time. It rhymes with pride. I forget it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't forgive you. I suck. <laughs>